All right, today we are going to make some Ciroc peach cobbler. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, do all that good fun stuff down there. Like I said, Ciroc is actually going in there. The first things first, we're gonna start off with some puff pastry sheets. You wanna make sure that the vent side is up so that it puffs up. You do it the other way, it won't puff up. You can find the puff pastry shells right next to the puff pastry sheets, which is normally by the uh, store-bought whipped cream, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna take some cinnamon and some sugar and mix them up and combine them and then let it rain cinnamon sugar. Matter of fact, we're gonna do this cinnamon sugar rain for the duration of this recipe, all right? Then you wanna take a little bit of water and a little bit of egg, mix them together because you wanna make your egg wash, all right? This egg wash is gonna help us have a beautiful brown, puff pastry, all right? If you don't do this, you're gonna have an albino puff pastry, all right? And nobody wants no albino puff pastries. Everybody wants their puff pastry to come out golden brown and looking delicious. No disrespect to anybody who may be albino out there. We just want our puff pastries to be golden brown, all right? So go ahead on, put your egg wash over all the top of those uh, puff pastry sheets. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead on and pop them into a 425 degree oven for about 17 to 22 minutes, maybe more like 20 minutes, just depending on how hot your oven is, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some frozen peaches, do not use no canned peaches, some frozen peaches, and then we're gonna add some dark brown sugar to it, all right? So we're gonna add our dark brown sugar, and then we're gonna add some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some sugar to that, and some salt to that, and then we're gonna add some lemon zest to it, and then we're gonna go ahead on and add some lemon juice to that too, all right? And then we're gonna give that a good little stir, break that in, give that a good little stir. All right, after that, we're gonna do our cornstarch into a little bowl, and then we're gonna add our Ciroc to that cornstarch so we can make our slurry, all right? This cornstarch Ciroc slurry, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead on and add some pure vanilla extract. Please do not use no imitation vanilla extract. Don't do that. Treat yourself, all right? Now, the reason why we gotta create this slurry is because your peach cobbler is supposed to have a little bit of body to it, all right? It ain't supposed to be loose and running. You want a little body to it, okay? So give it a good little stir and then we're gonna go ahead on and pour that into our peaches. Give that a good stir, just to make sure everything's nice and combined, all right? And once you make sure everything is well combined, what you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat a skillet, all right? And once that skillet's preheated, you're gonna put your peaches into that, all right? Now look, after you pour your peaches out, you see all that little residue in that bowl? Put that into there, do not wash that out, all right? And then you're just gonna bring this mixture to a bar and it takes about seven to 10 minutes, all right? So if you wanna be fun, you could go ahead on and add a little bit more, more Ciroc right up in there, all right? Plain flavor Ciroc. Don't be adding no other kind of Ciroc, all right? Go plain flavor, all right? This stuff is already potent enough. Give that a good little stir. Make sure your sauce is nice and thick. You only can tell the sauce is nice and thick once it comes to a bar and it is looking good. All right, so after that, we're gonna add some butter. And once you add your butter, you're just gonna go ahead on and give that a good little stir so it can bring this sauce together and make it more smooth and velvety, all right? So after you finish whipping up this sauce, your puff pastry should be ready. Look at how gorgeous that is. Just take a second and look. Mm, looks good. So after they come out, take your puff pastry shells and transfer them to your platter. Then with a small knife, you wanna cut out and pull out those little tops of the shells, all right? Then take your cinnamon sugar mixture and go ahead on and make it rain cinnamon sugar on the inside of your puff pastry shells, all right? That's what we're looking for. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some ice cream to this. I chose to go with vanilla ice cream. You feel free to do what you wanna do, all right? And then you're gonna take your peaches and put it on top. Now the chef's secret is as you add these peaches to it, what you wanna do is you wanna press down on the ice cream so that hot peach cobbler mixture can begin to melt it and you get more room in it, all right? So after you finish doing that, we're gonna put more ice cream on the top. I surely hope you are not lactose intolerant, but if you are, this is the recipe and dessert that is worth you 
having a little extra fun a little later on, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little sprigs of mint and get your garnish looking all good. And then we're gonna go ahead on and put our tops right back on top. We paid for those tops, we gonna eat those tops, all right? And then guess what? We're gonna make it rain some old cinnamon sugar, ladies and gentlemen. So after you get all your peach, peach cobbler parfaits all looking all beautiful, then you just take the leftover remaining sauces and any little scraps of peaches that may be left behind and have some fun with your platter creation, all right? Make, decorate it, have a little fun, have a little fun. Now look, those puff pastry shells comes about six to a box, all right? So that means you should have plenty to go around. And that, my friend, is how easy it is to make this a rock peach cobbler parfait. You can find a recipe link down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And don't forget to tell your mom and them about me. I'll see y'all on the next video.